Let's start at the bottom line, because let's face it, that's where we all want to see the immediate change. You and everybody in the chain of command would, if you could, be more cost-effective and take credit for it, much to your investors' and shareholders' delight. Reducing emissions and to do what you can for the climate, given the reality and the current state of it, is extremely important. But unfortunately, we all know that unless you're forced by law to make changes that might risk revenue, you won't be eager to, not even for the climate. But reducing tear and wear and prolonging whatever type of combustion engine or industrial machinery your company is using is easily transformed into positive numbers. And to make the best use of whatever fuel you're using is another way to, in both senses, put a green smile on your face. My name is Mick Carlago, I'm captain of uh, Longship Isla and uh, uh, basically I'm responsible for all, for, for all operations of this ship. These changes are so that uh, they can be seen in calculations. So we have a record of uh, how much fuel we use every trip. So it's there you can see the trend uh, then and calculate. The research has been done and the empirical evidence speaks for itself in tangible numbers. Numbers that represent reduction of cost and negative environmental impact and influx of revenue and profitability. To be put in context, Professor Dr. Matthias Scherger and Professor Kenneth Holmberg. My name is Matthias Scherger. I'm a professor for tribology here in Karlsruhe and I'm in charge of the Fraunhofer Micro Tribology Center. Although the first task with uh, the guys from, from Nanol was to create an environment that is able to simulate a large diesel engine. The microscopic structure of the, the additive looks like a ball. The ball is a copper nanoparticle. As soon as there is a mechanical contact, there is so much power in the friction contact that this copper nanoparticle comes squeezed between the two surfaces. And squeezing means it reduces friction by easy shearing properties of this, this, this particle. Well, I am Kenneth Hornberry and I am professor working at the VTT, the Technical Research Center of Finland. Today we can say that one-fifth of all energy goes to overcome friction. There has come many new techniques with which we can decrease friction. But then there are other techniques and this manual product with copper-based additives is interesting because you don't only apply them to new products, but you can apply them to all cars or to those ships that already have. You can use them in, in old products. And that means that basically you can have a quicker impact on the emissions and also on the global warming. Now you are more than welcome to take a closer look. We are well tested and well documented. A little hint is that there is no real reason to patent secure something that isn't working. And even though you think you've heard similar promises made before, we have the technology to accommodate it, the data to prove it, and the results to show it. Finally, have you ever heard of a company that has a no cure, no pay policy? didn't think so. A Nanol representative will be in touch shortly. For more information on how to reduce tear and emissions and increase longevity and economic outcome, please visit www.nanol.eu.